Hello everyone, welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Well, I've been continuing on making syrup here. Uh, the box elder trees are the ones that have been running. The maple just started, the maple's dead. This is all I have for the maple so far, but I wanted to try it, just uh, get that first taste of the season. But I've been experimenting a little bit because usually when you do syrup, you always go for that 219 degree temperature when you're doing maple syrup. And uh, that doesn't burn it, it's the right consistency and everything. So I was doing some more research with the box elder tree, and these two here now I did at 219 degrees, but you can go up as high as 224.6. Of course, all this is Fahrenheit. And uh, so that's what this one here I went up to 224 and I pulled it. I didn't want to try to go up that extra 0.6. So anyway, look at the difference in the color on these, though. These are lighter, and this one has a darker color, closer to what a real maple uh, syrup looks like. The stuff tastes delicious. I mean, it's really good. Those trees really run real nice. Uh, what I want to do now is just, now this one's only been done for a couple of hours, so it's still a little bit warm, warmer than these are. But we're going to check this out and see if this one is quite a bit thicker or not, you know, whatever, if they're really close to the same or if it's just the color that it changed. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is stick this into the 219 degree stuff. You can see how that drips there. And now we'll do the 224 degree. Definitely is thicker. So keep that in mind. If you're tapping box elder trees, bring it up to 224 degrees and it'll get you more uh, lifelike syrup consistency. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel. I wanted to do a little update on this video. Luckily I haven't posted this one yet. Uh, this was the one you guys just saw. We did it 224 degrees, but look what's happened after a couple of days. It's really crystallized. Uh, so, I mean, there's still syrup in there. This would still be good, but that means that it was done for too long. It was too high of a heat. Um, you'd have to heat this up to get it to crystal to uncrystallize, which we don't want to do. So what I have done now, and there'll be a video showing when I did this, but we'll just make this brief. Um, now I'm doing it at 220.6, and here we have 220.6. It's been over a day now, and that stuff is thicker, but it has, it's not crystallizing. So not everything you read telling me I can do it at 224.6 would work. Or maybe my thermometer's off a little bit compared to what theirs was. I don't know. But I'm sticking with 220.6 on box elder. And like I said, I've done a lot of maple syrup, but this was the first time for box elder. So we kind of learn, learn together.